Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Hello, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Where do you see the most crime happen in each community? Right. In the so-called black community, right? right? In the ghettos of every city in America, you see the most black-on-black -black crime. Right. You see the most police brutality because we are cursed in the city. Read the latter part. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. Who was picking cotton in the cotton fields? No. Was the white man picking cotton in the cotton fields? Was the Asian man picking cotton in the cotton fields? God said, my people will have to pick cotton in the cotton fields because you did not do what I said as a people. Right. Right. This does not apply to everybody else. Right. What we're trying to show you is you are holy people unto God. That's the right. The reason why we are in the conditions that we're in is because we did not do what God says as a people. He didn't punish everybody like he punished us. The white man was the one wh whipping our backs in the cotton field. Right. He was the one riding the horses while we was in the cotton 90 degree weather. Right. You had to pick your fair amount of cotton. Right. That happened to us as a people. Yes. Read verse 32. Verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. He said thy sons and thy daughters will be given unto another people. Why our sons and our daughters not given unto another people in slavery? You didn't have a choice. If they sent your son or your daughter to another plantation, you didn't have no choice but to let that son or daughter go. Right. Because what would you do if you tried to resist? Kill us. They would kill you. That's what happened to us as a people. That's a curse that's in the Bible. Right. right. But it's our history. What we're trying to show you is the Bible is not a religious book. The Bible is our history book. That's right. right. These things are happening to us right now as a people. Right. These things happen to us in history as we see right. as a people. This is our history. Bring it up. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Uh huh. And there shall be no might in thy hand. There will be no might in our hand to get our children back. If they took your child, there'll be no might to take them back. But how do they do that today in modern times? Child support. Child support. But if CPS comes and takes your child because they find out you're on drugs, exactly, you have no power to get your children back. They're doing the same thing to us today as a people. But guess what? We're reading God's words. We're reading what God told us as a people. What happened to us if we didn't do what he said? This is our history, brother. Keep reading. I read verse 41. Verse 41. Uh-huh. Thou shalt be got son and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, uh -huh. for they shall go into captivity. So do you have any sons or any daughters? you have any children? You have two, right? What do they make them do eight hours out of the day if they're older? Than they gotta go to school. And what do they teach them in school? Do they learn any of what we're teaching you right now in school? No, I assure you they'll show this man as Cesar, Bur Cesar A. Borgia on every wall. Right. They'll show him in the movies. They'll teach your children this, I assure you. If you go home right now and ask your children, what does Jesus look like? Well, you They'll pull up this image right here. Right. Did right. you teach them that? Probably not. But they learned this in school. They learned this in churches. We don't have any might. We don't, what, read it again for them. Verse 41. 
Thou shalt begot sons and daughters, uh -huh. but thou shalt not enjoy them, uh -huh. for they shall go into captivity. We cannot enjoy our children because it said they will go into captivity. Right. That's right. So you may think that we're free here in this country, but God says you will not enjoy them for they shall go into captivity. Right. Nine times out of ten, they're at school longer than they're with you. Right. And they're teaching them all manner of wickedness in those schools. Right. Second address, five and eight. Uh-huh. There shall be a confusion also in many places. Uh-huh. And the fire shall be up, sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their place, and mistress women, it says mistress woman, read, shall bring forth monsters. Shall bring forth monsters. That's, That's right. what the Bible says. Why would mistress woman bring forth monsters? Do you have, you have daughters or you just have two sons? You have two daughters. So what do you think, what do you think the mom's gonna be teaching them two right. daughters? They're right. gonna say, it's okay to do what you want. If you love women, that's okay. I love women, that's okay. That's what America teaches us. Right. That's right. the same thing that was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah. Give me a woman out there oppressors in Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 30. Women are oppressors, our children are oppressors today as a people. Why? We're gonna find out why. Because, like I said, the women, they're just gonna teach them what they thought was okay, what they learned in America, right. what their parents taught them. Right. We have to break that cycle, brother. So you, I know you can only do so much because they probably have custody of your children, right? I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't. I ain't telling you funny. You can do it with all the shadow of God, I'm a man of God. And I say, don't worry, I'm about to hand. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. Because I understand there's only so much you can do with those children, but this is what the Bible says. Three and 12, Three and 12. Yes, sir. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12 because remember brother everything we're reading we're reading out of God's word you may not believe it but God he has his people set up for success right we we've gone every way outside of the Bible to look for our means of success as a people but the words have been written this whole entire time God has already set up his people for success but we're not doing what he's saying as a people right read it for him Isaiah 3 and 12 no. as for my people Children are their oppressors. God says, for my people, children are their oppressors. So like you said, your children right now are being taught by their mother. What do you think they're gonna teach their children? Right, no. The same thing. It, exactly, the generational cursing. Mm. This is the thing that's gonna keep happening from generation to generation. Right. That's we are, why we are out here to try and break these curses upon our people. That's why right. are our children our oppressors? Read. And women rule over them. Because women rule over them. We read the order earlier. What is the, the order according to God? No. God, then Christ, then men, then the woman. Right. That's the order according to God. But if, you're, if your daughters don't have a man in their household to lead them right, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to be all out of order. That's why it's that mistress woman would bring forth monsters. That's right. Because God has an order for his people. Right. Our daughters are supposed to have dads in their life. Right. They're supposed to have fathers in their life. When God, he, he was always commanded a father to be in the household. Right. Give me uh, Genesis 28 and 12, I believe it is. When Abraham commanded that he would lead his children right. Yeah, 1819. Read that for him. Because what we're trying to show you, brother, like I said, there's only so much you can do. But you, as a, as a man of God, what you should be doing is teaching your daughters as much as you can. Right. Because you can try and change that mind. Get a phone call. I call her. Money to the wind and dirty. No answer. But this and that. I said, you know what? I ain't. You know what? I'm a man and grab that shell of the devil. You know what? I got you. I got you. But even you, as an elder in this community, you see a young man right here. He doesn't know not one thing about the Bible. He doesn't know that Jesus Christ was a black man. He didn't know who he was before he came up here. Right. He didn't know we had to keep God's commandments. Right. You even as an elder in this community, as a man of God, right? You could be teaching our people the true words of God, which is what we're trying to show you. That's and right. that way, you you know, you teach the next one, right? Right. You can hand that flyer off to somebody else and teach that same knowledge to somebody else. Now, when we all understand as a people, we're the Israelites, we're God's chosen people. That's what right. we have to do is keep God's commandments. Right. Each one teach one. Now we're breaking them generational curses. You see what I'm saying? Read that for me. 18 and 19. Yes, sir. Genesis 18 and 19. Uh -huh. No. For I know him that he would command his children uh -huh. and his household after him. So this is Abraham, he said, I know that he would teach him and command his household after him. Right. Like I said, I know it's not much that you can do right now, but this is the order God established with his people. 
This is how you keep laws, statutes, and commandments being governed within a household. Right. Read. And they shall keep the way of the Lord uh -huh. to do justice and judgment uh -huh. that the Lord may bring upon Abram that which he have spoken of him. That he may bring upon Abram that which he has spoken of him. Right. My young brother right there, make sure you check out that fire and read the contact information on the back. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.